We need any teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you guys? Very good. So, okay. so. <laughs> That's great. It's great to know that you are good. And I think that we are all happy because it's Friday. Yes. Thanks, God. It's Friday. <laughs> Very good. And... Yes. And celebration is on Friday. <laughs> yes, we are celebrating because it's Friday. <laughs> Friday. Yes, okay, nice. Good. Okay, so we are going to start with um, the attendance, okay? So let's see who is here in the class this evening. Alexander Emanuel Presa. Alexander Presa, okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, David. Okay, Carlos Antonio Gonzalez. Carlos Pinto. Present, Daniel. teacher. Okay, Mr. Pinto. Eh, Ed, Daniela Ardo. Present, teacher. Okay, good for you. What about... Edwin Elias Ramirez. Was the first person be connected? Herson Tobar. Hilmar Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. And Irvi Gosmi Rodriguez. Okay, Ismael Isaac. Juan Francisco Lopez. Michelle Ayala. Luis Alonso Carrillo. Present teacher. Okay, good evening. Tejada Maldonado. Good evening, teacher and everyone. Good evening. Metsi Damaris Molina. Present, teacher. Okay, Metsi. Rosy Chimes. Present, teacher. Okay. Silvia Carrillo. Verónica Romero. Present, teacher. Okay, Jessica Vialta. Present teacher. And David Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Hmm. Okay, guys, so to, tonight, I mean, this evening, we have our video conference number 18. Okay, so uh, the topic for this um, class is how to use adjectives to describe places. We are also going to review the there is and there are. Remember, we studied that yesterday. So let me share with you the presentation, the class presentation. Okay. So it's our video conference number 18. That is, there are in adjectives to describe workplaces, class objective, participants will be able to use the reason that are in adjectives to describe workplaces. Agenda. Okay, let me see. Uh, Daniela, would you like to read the agenda, please? Okay, teacher. Activity one. Review of previous now le como knowledge 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 activity two what what up activity three describe describe 
Describing places. Activity four, how to use adjectives to describe places. Activity five, wrap up. Thank you, Daniela. Okay, so let's start with activity one. Review of previous knowledge. Okay, for this activity, I will show you first some prepositions of place we have learned in, on, and at, but here you can see others. For example, you can see, well, the same in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, and between. In means inside. On means on a surface. Under, debajo, right? Next to, a la par. Behind, atrás. In front of, enfrente de. Between, en medio. De dos cosas. Okay, please repeat after me. In. In. In, in, on, 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 under, on, under, under, next to, next, next, next to, to, behind, 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 in front of, in front, in front of, of, in between, front of, between, 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 yes, between. Okay, so having this in mind. Have this in mind. I'm going to send you a link for you to practice these prepositions of place in sentences, okay? So let me send you the link so that you can practice it. Okay. Okay. So it's in the <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> okay, Harrison. <laughs> it's in in the WhatsApp and also via Zoom. Prepositions of place. I will share the screen. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at the dogs. They are chihuahuas. <laughs> Good. So complete the sentences with the prepositions in the box. For example, there is some pizza in the box because the pizza is inside the box, the pizza box. There is a guitar. Next to no. the lamp and the plant. Between. Between, correcto. Entre, ¿verdad? Entre la planta y la lámpara. Between the plant, the lamp and the plant. So you write here between. There are two dots. The table. Under. Under. Excellent. There are two dots under the table. There is a window. Mm -hmm. Bueno, esta no, esta está, pero no, no se las había dicho. Over. Over. Que es ir arriba, ¿verdad? Over the sofa. There is a racket. 
<clears throat> in front of. Veamos. There is a racket. Okay, what about the racket? Next to. Next to, exactly. Two. Next to the bag. Next to the bag. Okay, what about number seven? There is some cheese. On the play. On the play. There is a rock. Rock quiere decir alfombra. There is a rock. Yes, Under the table. But it says the sofa. Ah. The rock. In front of. In front, In front of. of. In front of the sofa. There is a lamp. There is a lamp. It is at the shelf. The shelf is el estante. Entonces, there is a lamp. Under. Under. Under, under. under the shelf. Okay. There is a trophy. A trophy. It is the books. Next to. Between. Between. Between, exactly. Between the books. There is a picture. There is a picture on the wall on the wall, a picture of the beach, un cuadro. There is a bird flying. Over, arriba de los árboles, over the trees. Miren, ahora estoy viendo mejor la ventana. Number four, there is a window. ¿Dónde está la ventana? There is a window. Oh, Over the sofa. No, pero fíjense que la veo que es más. Ahora la veo mejor, no la había visto bien. Okay, está behind. atrás. Behind, exactly. Behind the sofa. Behind the sofa. And the last one. There is, there are two fish. On the ball. On or in? In. In. in? in the bowl. Okay. Let's check. Let's check our answers. And you got excellent, perfect score. Great, guys. Very good. So that was the practice of prepositions of place. A ver, ¿quién me las dice sin ver? Tell me five. Sin miedo al éxito. Over, next to, behind, in, on. In front of. In front of. Over. Excellent, Mr. Over. Pinto. Excellent. Another person? Michelle, yo a Michelle la veo así como que yo teacher, pero me da miedo. <ríe> ok, Michelle. 
Yes. Pero ¿por qué no la escuchamos? We don't hear you, miss. Hoy se escucha. Yes. Ok. Over Beijing in front of between over in on y solamente esa vez. Ok, ok. ¿Cómo digo atrás de? Behind. 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 En medio de. In between. Between. Debajo de. Under. Under. A la par de. Next to. Next to. Sobre o arriba de. Arriba de. Over. 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 Encima. Sobre. On. 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 Dentro de. In. In. Ok. Great. Ok. Let's see what is the activity number two. In the activity number two, I have some pictures. Ok. About some office. I want you to write some sentences about the pictures. Ok. You can uh, write your sentences using there is and there are in the chat. For example, in this, in this office, there is a printer on the, on the, let me see. There is a printer behind, behind the chair. Right. Behind the chair on the cabinet. Right. There is a telephone on the desk. Okay, so please write sentences describing the office, the, the, the picture, and write those sentences using the reason that are in the chat, please. Okay, while you write, I will go for some water because I forgot my bottle of water. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Disculpe, teacher, no le, no le, no le escuché qué vamos a hacer. Let's see your chats. Let's see your chats. There is a computer on the desk. 
There are two chairs in front of the desk, okay? What else? What about the plant, the posters, the CDs, the mouse? There is a plant in the corner, great. There is a chair, no, there are two chairs in front of the desk. Excellent. There is a screen on the desk. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is a plant behind the desk. There is a plant behind the desk. Very good. <laughs> there are three posters on the walls. <laughs> there is a calendar behind the desk. Oh, is that a calendar? Okay, maybe. <laughs> Good, there is a um, keyboard on the desk next to a mouse. Okay, good, now the next picture. There is a phone on the desk, yes. There are no, there are no shelters, not shelves in my office, shelves. There is a cable on the desk. Okay. Good. Now let's just try the next picture. Can you see? It's similar, but with different things. For example, cactus, books, folders, clock, calendar, certificate or diploma, paper bean, um, um, some pens and markers, computer, coffee, cup, chair, desk, cactus, window. Window. Mm -hmm. There is a clock in front of the chair. Okay, on the wall. There is computer in the table. There is a computer on the table or desk. And maletín, briefcase. Briefcase. Also, there is a lamp on the table, on the desk. There's a lamp on the desk. There is a dustman next to the desk. Or oh, paper ring or bean. 
Okay. It is below. There is a brave case on there in the floor. There is a brief case on the floor. On, on the floor. The floor. Or you can say under the window. Uh, Porque si está debajo de la ventana, vea, under the window. Teacher, briefcase brief o paper bin es basurero, entonces. No, no, briefcase es el maletín. Ah, ok. El paper bin es el basurero, de, el basurerito. Ah, ok, gracias. Thanks. Or just me. Mm -hmm. There is calendar. There is a calendar on the wall. Okay, there are some notes on the wall. There is a clock under the shelf. Es lo que está, ¿cómo, cómo se le dice a un toma corriente? Toma corriente creo que es el que está debajo de la ventana. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me, let me remember. Bueno, there, la regla del outlet. There are... There are books over shelf. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. There are books. There are books on the shelf. Over shelf. Yes. Excellent. How was this? Owlet. David. There is a ah, pero, pero lo que está arriba de la, de la, del toma corriente ¿qué es? porque no, no distingo yo yo me neither <risa> ah, no idea ¿cómo que es escalera? Mira, a ver. no, but I don't think so ¿será aire acondicionado? <risa> maybe the AC air conditioner or just decoration mm -hmm. is a, there the is firm. an outlet under the window Yes. Maybe it's, maybe it's wallpaper, papel tapiz, wallpaper maybe. There are three buildings next to my office or in front of my office? Teacher, there is lamp next to computer. Yes. Okay, there is a chair under the desk. There is a building behind the window, okay? There is um, coffee. There is a coffee cup between the lamp and the computer. Okay, thank you. Thank you for doing the activity. Now guys, um, in the next activity, you can see here, we can see a description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. Can you guess where they work? For example, 
Mr. Passes, there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. And there are three high-tech elevators. So where do you think, where does he work? Where do you think he works? In a hotel. In a hotel, yes, because of the lobby, a beautiful lobby, comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, elevators, okay? Now, let's read the other one. There is a narrow reception area. Narrow quiere decir estrecho, okay? There are two dirty dining rooms. Dos comedores muy sucios. There is an ugly photocopy center. And there are small offices. Teacher, can you repeat what means narrow? Narrow, estrecho. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any idea? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Small offices, a narrow reception, reception area. Two dirty dining rooms. Receptionist. <laughs> okay. But, uh -huh. maybe, I don't know, maybe, um, uh, I don't know, a <laughs> uh, factory, no, or, um, a business place, maybe. A training room. That could be a training room. Because it has a, a two dining rooms and also copy center, a photocopy center. Okay. Good. Let's see. Next part of the class. Okay, after reading these descriptions, which one is positive and which one is negative? Mr. Pass's workplace, the way he describes his workplace is positive or negative? Positive. Positive. And Mrs. Aila? Negative. Oh, it's negative. Oh, yes. Oh, negative. She uses words oh, or negative adjectives, for example, narrow, dirty, ugly, and small. And on the opposite, Mr. Aguilar, Mr. Paz uses beautiful, comfortable, huge, quiere decir grande. High tech, quiere decir de alta tecnología. Now, some questions. 
How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? He described his workplace in a positive way. What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? What does she think about her workplace? Does she like it? She did. She doesn't like her work. She doesn't like her workplace. Yes, she doesn't like her workplace. On which of the two places do you want to work and why? On which of the two places would, do you want to work? In the Mr. Pa Mr. Pass workplace because uh, sounds more comfortable. <laughs> yes, and it's beautiful and it's huge, it's big. Okay, it's a spacious. Very good. Okay, so we are going to learn how to use adjectives to describe places. Adjectives go before nouns. Los usamos antes. If you notice, they go before the noun. Beautiful lobby. Comfortable rooms. Huge parking lot. High-tech elevators. Narrow reception area, dirty dining rooms, ugly photocopy center, small offices. So as you notice, the adjective goes before the noun. And we have some positive adjectives. Who would like to read the positive adjectives? ¿Quién le gustaría leer los positivos? The positive adjectives. Silvia? Silvia se está durmiendo. Okay, wake up, Silvia, wake up. No estaba viendo, teacher. Ah, just kidding, just kidding, Silvia, no se molestando. Okay, would you like to read, please, the positive adjectives? There are comfortable rooms. There is um huge, huge, huge parking lot. There are night place to rest. If there is a uh, illumin. Ilum Illuminated. Illuminated training room. Training room. Training yes, thank you so much. Room. Now, negative adjectives. Rosie? Rosie Chavez, please. There is a narrow reception hall. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen hall. Area. Is a area. Area. There is a small living room. Thank you so much. Yes, there is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. Disgusting. Can I say it? Um, eh, in Spanish, disgusting is like, oh, awful or... Um, desagradable. Mm -hmm. And there is a smelly living room. Smelly. Huele mal. ¿verdad? There is a smelly living room. Okay, so as you notice, they are uh, adjectives before the nouns. Okay? Teacher, y ese adjetivo de oler mal, pero si lo quiero usar en, en positivo, oler bien, ¿cómo sería? Mm -hmm. Le smelly. Si le quiero decir, hueles bien, por ejemplo, o la cocina huele bien, el cuarto huele bien. Mm -hmm. Ok. It smells good. It smells. It smells good. Mm -hmm. But mm, smelly yeah. means like maloliente, diondo, right? Mm. It's negative. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to show you guys more adjectives to describe places. For example, we have beautiful, boring, <clears throat> Vaseline, 
charming, contemporary, compact, vast, notorious, amazing, suitable, perfect, cosmopolitan, crowded, exciting, rushy, expensive, rare, unique, uh, famous, fantastic, huge, fascinating, lively, inexpensive, popular. I'm sorry guys, picture square, touristy, valuable, hard, touchy, and catchy. You know what? Every time I drink milk, I feel very sleepy after drinking milk. Does that happen to you? I drank milk for dinner. <laughs> I know I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay. So my tip, don't drink milk at night before work or before class because you will be so relaxed and sleepy. <laughs> okay, so you see this, this, um, these are some adjectives. There are ooh, plenty, a lot of adjectives to describe a place, but these are some, some uh, adjectives. Okay, now, I uh, will show you uh, an exercise in which you have to use the words and the correct verb. For example, you will use there is, there is and there are. For example, small gym. ¿Cómo sería? There's, voy a poner contractado. There's. Y luego que uh, va. Uh, small. There is a, a small, a small, small, small gym. Gym. Excellent. Gym. Okay. Continue, please. You can write it in the chat if you want. Complete the senses that use and were provided at the computer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alfredo. Sorry, I'm reading. Okay. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Okay, we have some answers that are, okay, en esa, si decimos, there are new training rooms, Michelle, sin el A, porque el article A or A means only one, 
Okay, so it would be only there are new training rooms. There are clean cafeterias. There is a very clean cafeteria. There is a smart meeting room, that's correct. Cafeteria, ¿cómo se dice? Cafeteria. Cafeteria. There are unpleasant bathrooms. Excellent. And number six. I got number dos. Yeah, they, they have problems with the numbers. <laughs> In the libro. I copied this from the book. So. Great, Michelle. There is a tiny cubicle. There is a tiny cubicle. Tiny means little, small. Okay, guys. Finished? What's mean training, teacher? Training, eh, de entrenamiento o capacitación. We have training rooms, okay. Okay, is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Good, okay. Now, what you are going to do is to describe your workplace. Write a paragraph of at least eight sentences. Van a escribir un párrafo de por lo menos ocho oraciones. Write a paragraph describing your workplace and use adjectives before nouns. Try to use the adjectives, for example, new, small, huge, tiny, pleasant, unpleasant, clean, dirty, beautiful, ugly, 
Okay, describing your work, please. Yeah. Teacher, have a question. Yes. El párrafo lo vamos a hacer describiendo algo o tenemos que hacer ilustraciones. Describing your workplace, su, su trabajo, su, el, el, su lugar de trabajo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. describing, describing your workplace. Write instructions in the chat. Tienen que describir su área de trabajo. ¿Cómo es? Escriban. ¿Cómo se dice? Aire acondicionado. Air conditioner. Sí. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so you will write a paragraph of eight sentences describing your workplace, use the reason that are, and use adjectives positive and negative. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice pupitres? How do you say pupitres? Desks, también se dicen desks. Desks. Mami, me dijo, ¿cuánto va a comprar? 
¿Quién me va a comprar más de ocho cuatro? Teacher, how do you say pasillos? Hall. Gracias. You're welcome, Mr. Tejada. Okay, guys, it's a fifty-eight. It's almost time to take the second attendance. So don't forget to say present or here, okay? While I uh, say your names. I'm going to start with Mr. Alexander Presa. Present teacher. Okay, you got home. Carlos González. Carlos Pinto. Present teacher. Okay, Daniela Ardón. Present teacher. Edwin Elias Ramírez. Gerson Otoniel Tobar González. Present teacher. Okay, Gilmar Alvarado. Present teacher. Doctor Alfredo Marroquín. Present teacher. Irving Osmín Rodríguez. 
Ismael Isaac Aguilar. Juan Francisco López. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Hey, Luis Alonso Carrillo. Mario Alfredo. Present. Metsi Damaris. Oh, she was connected with her cell phone. Rosy Chávez. Present. Silvia Carrillo. Present teacher. Verónica Romero. Present teacher. Jessica Vianta. David Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. Guys, uh, did you finish your paragraph? Did you finish your paragraph? Hello. Okay, we have Mr. Pinto's description. Wow, Mr. Carrillo. Para, eh, para decir el parqueo es parking lot. Okay. Uh, Mr. Pinto, would you like to read your description for all the class? Please. Okay, teacher. My description about my workplace. There is a beautiful place and there are a lot of chairs to wait. There are two small offices. There okay. is an ugly parking. There is a nice reception area. There are clean places. There are many bathrooms. There is a new store next to my workplace. Okay, what kind of stores, Mr. Pinto? Is a little store. Little stores. Where you can buy snacks like churritos, tortitas, like churritos, like with soda, lemon, like soda. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you so much, Mr. Pinto, for sharing with the class. Somebody else would like to share the paragraph. Hi, teacher. Okay, Michelle, go ahead. My workplace is very big. There is um air condition. Como me dijo que se decía aire acondicionado? Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Um, there are few windows. There are a lot of noise, ruido. Noise. There is a lot of noise. There are many sad things. We have many people. There are many, all the bedrooms are far away. There is a cafeteria, is very small. There are different areas. Areas, okay. Finished? Finished. Good job, Michelle. Okay, someone else? Okay, more vol Okay, David. Mm -hmm. And my workplace, there is, uh, there are many desks, there are a car, there are many cats. Cats? There is or cats. cars? Cats. Really? Yes. 
Interesting. There is a farm. There is a table. There is a, a barrel. There is a, a oasis. There is a mirror. Okay. Okay. Thank you, David. Yes. Thank you for mm -hmm. describing your workplace. Remember, guys, to use the adjectives. To use the adjectives like beautiful, big, small, clean, dirty, fantastic, modern, old. Okay? Teacher. Okay, Veronica. My workplace is big, but me, my office is small and clean. There are two computers, there are many shelves, there are many letters. Okay, Veronica. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't understand letters. There are many letter, letter, letters. What do you mean with that? ¿Qué quería decir, Verónica? Ah, eh, gradas. Ah, ok. Ladders. 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 Sí, teacher. Escaleras. También puede ser stairs. Gracias, teacher. Welcome. Héctor, ¿quiere compartir? Sí, 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 teacher. Ok, Héctor, go ahead, we listen to you. Bye. Eh, my, my workplace, eh, um, company Energy Solar, my house, ¿cómo sería bodeguero? Eh, warehouse. Eh, my, my house is the warehouse, our two, the panels uh, are in good condition uh, as well their connection. Eh, lo que quiero decir ahí que, eh, bueno, nuestro trabajo es principalmente con los paneles solares y con respecto a eso, eh, eh, las conexiones del mismo. Eh, la fin la finish this process the process is shining shining of the game is the place where the question okay and do you have a specific place like office or your play, your workplace is warehouse, la bodega, warehouse, the warehouse. Eh, eh, prácticamente, eh, bueno, mi trabajo es de bodega, eh, se pasa a donde el cliente. ¿verdad? Entonces mi trabajo es como un área de producción, al mismo tiempo eh, calidad y al mismo tiempo entrega. ¿verdad? Okay, so you are you work in the production area, in the quality quality check area, and also delivery to customers. Delivery, yes. Sí, sí. Okay. Okay. Is it a factory? Es fábrica. No. Eh, no, no, no es fábrica, sino que eh, importamos paneles solares de, de China. Oh, nice. Eh, ajá, Solar entonces, panels. Sí, así es, correcto. Entonces, por medio de ello, pues nosotros colocamos paneles solares en todas las, en, en, bueno, en las empresas que lo requieran. Okay. La satisfacción de la empresa es, pues, que los clientes ahorren dinero, plata. Ok, Héctor, good. Just try to say what you said in English, okay? <laughs> sí, sí, sí. <laughs> okay, someone else, the last person, the last volunteer, 
Silvia. Así le dice Silvia, vienen con el dedito. My workplace we had security agents. There is a production area. There are three warehouses. There is a beauty clean. There is a dinner room. There is a reception. There are many bathrooms. There is a social uh, cancha de football. Soccer field. Soccer field. And there is a y cancha de basket. Basketball court. Basketball court. Um, okay, nice that you have a basketball court and a soccer field in your workplace. Yes. Do the employees play there? Uh, Do the employees play in the soccer field, play soccer or play basketball? Um, yes, in, entrenan en esa cancha oh, uh, Funda like Madrid. Funda Madrid trains there. Nice. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Good job, everybody. Now, guys, I'm going to send you a link that is um, an exercise. It's a reading. But what I like about reading text is that you learn new vocabulary, you learn new structures. And so I'm going to send you the link for this worksheet. It's a, it's a reading exercise and it's going to help you to know more more vocabulary so please go go to the website and we let's do it we are going to try to do it together okay it's about a house this is my house you have to read the text carefully Vamos a ver, voy a necesitar varios voluntarios para que lean un párrafo cada uno, one paragraph each. Who would like to start? Luis, ¿quiere comenzar? Hello, my name is Peter. Ok. okay. Hello, my name is Peter. And this is my house. My house is large. It has two floors at first floor and second floor. It has holes and attic. Una palabra, teacher. Attic and abasement. Attic and abasement. On, on the first floor, there is the hall, the kitchen. Upon the living room, at the living room and about uh toilet thank you thank you uh, luis uh can you continue hilmar yes teacher moment when it says on the second floor okay uh, uh, on on the first floor um, on the second floor on the on the on the second floor, there is a hall. Mm. There are yes. three bedrooms. The next paragraph, human. On the second floor, there are three bedrooms, one bathroom. Okay. Uh, on the second floor, there are three uh, bedroom, okay. one uh, bathroom, and a big balcony. My bedroom is a uh, viewing. My parents a uh, bedroom. I'm, I'm the third bathroom. My sister bedroom is in from us mining. Thank you. Rosie, you continue, please. I love my bedroom. But I also like the attic. In the attic, I keep some of my books, and my books 
earned my own stone. I like to spend my time there because it's, it is very long and there is a big shop. There were, there were, I sometimes find a net. Continue, Hector, please. Yes, teacher. Um, in the basement. Uh, in the basement. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the basement is where we keep the washing machine, the drain machine, um, or the store. At the wap, uh, at the wap, or uh, the house, at uh, the garage. Where my parents park the family car and lower garden. No, see, a lower garden. With money, green space, flower, and small screen sport. I love my house. It's very comfortable. 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 Como dijo teacher? Comfortable. 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 Comfort. It's, a, it's a little bit difficult to pronounce, but it's com comfortable. 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 No pronuncia la segunda. Oh, comfortable. 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 Okay, now guys, you have to complete the exercises, okay? Fill in the table about Peter's house. Number of floors, ¿cuántos pisos tiene? How many floors? Three. Two. Two floors. Two. Rooms on the first floor, how many rooms has the first floor? How many rooms? It says my house is large. Uh, on the first floor, there is the hall, the kitchen, a pantry, the living room, a big dining room, and a toilet. Um, I would say four rooms because the hall is not a room, uh, but it has the kitchen is one, the living room two, the dining room three, and the toilet or the bathroom four. Okay, rooms on the second floor. Four, right? Three bedrooms and one bathroom. Okay. Match the antony antonyms. The opposite. For example, big. What is the opposite of, of big? A small. Exactly. Okay. Yes, we're going to. Much love, hate, or hate, hate, loving hate, old, uh, new, okay. new, yes, it's correct, large. Crampit. Crampit. 
Okay. Or from. Okay, then we have back. That's front. Front. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Large and crampy. Okay, nice. Continue with the next exercise. C, exercise C. Is Peter House large or small? Answer the questions, please. Large. Uh -huh. Okay, so the answer will be E. Large. Large. Okay, number two, how many floors are there? Okay, thank you, Elias. How many floors are there? Elias dice there are two, dos pisos. There are two floors. Number three. Does his house have an attic? Does his house have an attic? What is the answer? Does his house have an attic? Yes, he has. Veamos, sería yes, it does. It does. does. It, porque es una cosa, ¿verdad? La casa. Es el sujeto de la oración. His house. Does his house have an attic? Yes, it does. Where is the living room? The living room is on first uh, floor. On first floor. Yes. Entonces, ¿qué preposición voy a usar? Is, in, or on? In. It's on. It's on the first floor. Tengo problemas con esas proposiciones. Nunca. <laughs> in, bueno, on es sobre algo, una superficie. Pero cuando hablamos de pisos, usamos on. Ok. Okay, next. Where is his bedroom? Uh, the bedroom is between my parents' bedroom and the bathroom. <laughs> okay. 
my bedroom is between my parents' bedroom and the bedroom, okay? It's between my parents' bedroom and the bathroom. So why does he like to be in the attic? Uh, give me one second. <laughs> I love my bedroom, but I also like the attic. In the attic, I keep some of my books and my old toys. Why does he like to be in the attics? Mm. He keep some of his book and his old toys. Okay, but why does he like to be in the attic? Because he keeps his books and toys. Mm -hmm. And because it's very, it's in the attic, I keep some of my books and my old toys. I like to spend my time there because it is very large. And there is a big sofa there where I sometimes take a nap. So this is the answer. Because it is very large, very grande, it's very large. And there is a big sofa where he takes a nap. Okay. So we write because because it's very large and there is a bit of a where he Sometimes take a nap. What are the washing and drying machines? What are the washing and drying machines? Where, where? They are in I understand what are the matching the washing and drying machines. I'm gonna keep watching my channel. In the attic. In the basement. I'm sorry, in the basement, yes. In the basement. In the basement. Yes, a basement. The basement is el sótano. El sótano. Does, does Peter's house have a garage? Does Peter's house have a garage? Tiene la casa de Peter. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, okay. What can you find in the garden? Green spaces and, and a small swimming pool. I love the garden. 
Green spaces, flowers, and a small swimming pool. Wow, he lives in a very big and nice house. How many bedrooms are there in his house? How many bedrooms? Habitaciones para dormir, bedrooms. Okay, three. I think only three, right? Here are three bedrooms. Does Peter like his house? Yes, he does. And he doesn't like it, he can give it to me. He can give the house to me. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's check the answers. Did you finish, guys? <gasps> what happened? Oh. <laughs> does Peter's house have a garage? Yes, it does. Creo que se me olvidó la coma. También el punto, creo. Oh, yes, the period. Period. Hmm. <laughs> Sí, es de period. Porque en ese sí lo tiene. Yes, it's that. Or maybe, or maybe it's yes. Uh, his house have an attic. Maybe a, a large, uh, long answer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, good. I hope that you can, there are more guys, there are more exercises if you want to practice that you can make, right? So right now, it's time to work in the break of rooms. And for that, oh, I'm sorry, my camera was off. <laughs> Okay, so now you're gonna work in the break of rooms and you have to create a conversation. Um, it's a conversation that we didn't finish yesterday because of the time, but I think it's a very interesting one. Eh, I, sorry. Eh, esta quiero que hagan. Create a conversation with a partner describing the places that are around the building using the grammar. Okay, it can be around your workplace or around your house. Puede ser, tell me, where do you work? Or tell me, where do you live? I work in or I live in. Y luego van a responder, where is it? ¿Dónde queda? ¿Dónde es? Y a ustedes dicen, ¿a dónde? Y en la conversación, por favor, luego expliquen. Eh, me gustaría que dijeran, ¿cómo es su lugar de trabajo? Puede ser, pueden preguntar esto, house your workplace, ¿cómo es tu lugar de trabajo? How's your workplace? O puedes, o puedes preguntar, do you like your workplace? ¿Te gusta tu lugar de trabajo? How's your workplace like? ¿Qué significa? So voy a poner la par en español. ¿Cómo es tu lugar de trabajo? Y do you like your workplace? Es, ¿Te gusta tu lugar de trabajo? Y quiero que describan, que digan algo, ¿verdad? Sobre, de lo, pueden incluir lo que ya escribieron como Yes, I love the cafeterias or I love the gardens in my workplace or I, like, I don't like the bathrooms because they are very smelly. There are smelly bathrooms. Or, I don't know, you give your ideas, okay? So you're gonna work in pairs and you will create a conversation. You will, I will give you 15 minutes and then guys, you are going to present your role plays in front of the class, okay? So let me create groups.
teacher. Hello. Eh, I'm sorry if it's que por estar haciendo la tarea anteriormente de ese cuadro. <laughs> no le escuché muy bien que es lo que teníamos que ver. Solo le entendí que, que agarráramos un poco de lo que ya habíamos hecho anterior, ¿verdad? De, de, del lugar de trabajo. Van a hacer una conversación. Ajá. Ah, puede ser de dónde trabaja o dónde vive y van a describir dónde es. Y cómo es, si le gusta, si no le gusta. Y, y van a usar ahí lo que escribieron en el párrafo. Pueden usar ahí algunas ideas. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. You're welcome. Person. Epson, are you there? Teacher, una pregunta. Y para ser el lugar donde yo vivo, ¿cómo es que dijera? Para porque el, Ah, porque para el, el lugar de trabajo ya está el work, please, pero, pero, pero para donde vive. ¿Dónde vive? Where do you live? Ahí se lo acaba de enviar. Se lo acaba de enviar. Oh, Where, okay, do you okay. live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Ok, ok, perfecto. Person. Bueno, si, si necesita ayuda o algo, solo ahí en el botón de ayuda. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Si, por ejemplo, no tú verás con quién hacer la, la conversación, porque Gerson no responde. Pero, ajá. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Este. Vaya. Ahí está la teacher. Entonces... Sí. <risa> <risa> Aprovechemos. Okay. Con base a la, a la conversación hacemos el, este, nuestra descripción y eso. Ajá, puede ser dónde trabajas o dónde vive. Ah. Tiene que decir y en inglés, ¿verdad? ¿A dónde es? ¿Dónde queda? Y como le pregunta si le gusta o no le gusta. ¿Por qué? Vaya, está Entonces, bien. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome. Lo hacemos así a lo que salga, Gilmar, o lo escribimos primero. I wore Simon. O tengo que decirte qué trabajo. No, ahí solo. ¿A dónde? I wore Simon. Y ahí te preguntaría how how así era verdad. Eh, ajá, si es para how, cómo es how, mi trabajo. Ajá. ¿Cómo es? How you work place. How you work place. Te preguntaría yo después de responderte how do you work place y ahí me vas a responder. Cualquier otra cosa. ¿Cómo es tu lugar de trabajo? ¿Cómo es tu lugar de trabajo? Y ahí me tendrías que responder tú, Alex. Sí. Exacto. Ahí estoy escribiendo mi respuesta. <risa> <risa> Quiero ver. Y ahí te voy a preguntar lo mismo. O para que sea más corto, solo te voy a preguntar. En you, bueno, do you like your workplace? O sea, Ajá. si te gusta tu trabajo. Workplace. Y te voy a responder. 
la más grande mentira, pero... <ríe> yes, I like. <ríe> I don't like, me tenés que decir. <ríe> yes, I like. Y ahí creo que me puedes... Ahí me puedes decir... <ríe> Yeah. There are many offices. There are many offices. There are many offices. There are many offices. In my office, there are two computers. Um, there are two computers in my office. Um, yeah, there are many shelves. Shelves stand. Es una fábrica. Factory. Uh -huh, factory. Sí, no, pero there, is factory. A, there is a there is a factory. Podría ser. There is a factory no, de qué no, tipo es de que, producto? Es que, es que si digo the factory es la fábrica, pero yo digo fabrican. Ajá, es una fábrica de... ¿Se puede decir yeah. el producto? Ok, es... es eh, factory is of... They make... Ah. También puede ser eso, ellos hacen... Snacks. Yes. Uh -huh. Food snacks or snacks. Full, full snack. Food snacks. Food mm snacks. -hmm. They make. Food. Ah, entonces puede decir el nombre de la empresa y decir they make snacks. Enfrente de. Uh, y para decir a un costado o al lado de. Next to. ¿Verdad, Tiche? Nice. Confirme. Teacher, yeah. are you here? Yeah. <laughs> Next to, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que quiere decir? Después de... A un lado de... A la parte. Ajá. Ajá. Ajá, sería... ¿Pero qué es lo, la oración completa? Uh, estoy a la parte de... No. Mm. Pero el que está a la par de la iglesia. El que? El que está a la par. Ah, your house. A donde yo vivo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, my house is next to the church. Uh -huh. It's next to a church. Really? <laughs> Can you sleep at night? What, uh, what kind of church? Mm -hmm. Or no sé qué. Yeah, what kind, kind of church? Catholic, Christian, Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> um, Jehovah, Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness, okay. Jehovah, Jehovah. Me Jehovah. gusta en inglés. Jehovah, <laughs> Jehovah. Y cómo supo cómo se dice Alfredo? El qué? Jehovah's Witness. You say me it. I'm sorry. You say me it. Ah, I told you. <laughs> yes, you told me this. <laughs> yes. Jehovah Witness. Okay, Silvia. Silvia. Hola. Eh, diga, dígame con la... Ah, teacher, ¿cómo se dice colonia? Neighborhood. Ah, vecindario, ¿verdad? Neighborhood. Ah, cierto. Yes, neighborhood. 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 Neighbor neighbor teacher, neighbor ¿cómo se dice? 
neighborhood neighborhood Vai ahora sí, Silvia. I live a popa in I front in, of I live in a popa. I live in a popa in front of Polideportivo. The sports in, center. Sports center. <laughs> nice. There are three. Uh, there is a big parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no salon. No hay sala de venta. There are many offices. And okay. Right. Okay. Si okay. quiere, le damos otra vez. Hoy voy a hacer la A y usted la ve. Sí. Vaya, termer, eh, termer, where do you work? I work at I'm working. Where is it? It is in 45 South Avenue. And you, where do you work? Eh, where, where? Where I work in a company energy solar. Así, así me dijo, ¿verdad? El último. Sí. Ok. Uh, what, is in your, what is in your house? Yeah, eh, yeah. eh, me está preguntando las cosas que hay en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí, así. Ah, okay. yeah. Uh, the park, the park, the park, quiero ver. Uh, vamos a poner un, ¿qué? un comedor, sí, ¿verdad? Uno, un cafetín, ¿verdad? Uh, ¿Cómo sería el cafetín? The coffee, no, no. Cafeteria. Ah, cafeteria. Oh, cafeteria. <laughs> Vale, entonces, the bar y the, the cafeteria. Hello. Hola. Hola. Okay. Hola. Te gusta. Do you like your workplace, Jessica? ¿Cómo? Do you like your workplace? Um, my, I, ¿Te gusta, te gusta I, tu lugar de trabajo? Yes. Yes. Yes, I like my worst place okay. ahora si quieres me pregunta voy eh, tell me where do you work I work in City Hall. Mm, what it is? What is it? Where? What, uh -huh. Where is what it? it? What is it? Hello, teacher. Hello, Harrison and Luis. Do you have your conversation? Did you practice already? I don't know, teacher. No me podía conectar y luego este ya no escuché nada de Luis. Okay. Bueno, vamos a ver. Yes.
Good. So, guys, I'm going to take the last attendance before we start with the presentations, okay? So, let's begin with Mr. Alexander Presa Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Mr. Presa Rodriguez. What about Carlos Gonzalez? He's not present. Mr. Pinto? Present teacher. Mr. Carlos Pinto, okay. Daniel Ardón. Present teacher. Edwin Ramírez. Gerson Tobar. Gerson. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Gilmar Alvarado. I am here. Okay. Irving Rodríguez. Ismael Isaac. Juan Francisco, Karen Michel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Ms. Ayala. Luis Alonso. Present teacher. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Messi. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay, Silvia. Present teacher. Verónica. Present. Jessica. Present teacher. And David Hernández. Present teacher. Good, good job. Okay, now I will, we have five teacher. minutes for the presentations. Oh, Hector Marroquín, Miranda. Mm, present teacher. Present. <laughs> okay. Now some volunteers to present your conversation in front of the class, please. Vamos a ver Verónica con Jessica. Verónica ya se desconectó. O se le fue el inter, ¿qué sabe? Es que tenía bien malo el internet. El internet, ok. Vamos Pero a ver. Ya. Ok. Another group. Maybe Rosy's group. Rosy's group, who's your partner, Rosy? Sí, creo que era el compañero Héctor, me parece. ¿Quién es Héctor? Ah, como no, ahí está Héctor. Hola, Tito. Ahí está. Sí, verdad. Vale. Lights, camera, action. ¿Quién es el lado, Héctor? Sí, yo estoy en la. Bueno, espera. Ok. Vale. Eh, eh, Tell me where do you work? I work in I printing. Where is it? It is in 25 South Avenue. And you, where do you work? Where? I work in company Energy Solar. Ah, what is, what in, what is in your work in your car? Um, the car, uh, the cassette. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your effort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michelle and Alex. Okay, teacher. Okay. Mucho ruido. ¿Quién tiene el músico? <laughs> okay. Nice. Camera action. Hello, Alexander. Del 
Tell me where do you work? Hello, Michelle. I work in Superior Clean Service. And you, where do you work? I work in my house, your workplace. My work is a big office and I have an office and a computer in my desk. And you, Michelle, do you like your workplace? Yes, I like. Why, Michelle? I love the world environment. There is a very large space. <laughs> Finish, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you like the environment and the very large space. Okay, thank you, Michelle and Ale. Uh, do we have another one, maybe Silvia's group or Mr. Tejada's group or Jessica and Veronica, Hers, bueno, Herson. Hello, Hilman, who was your, your partner? It's, it's time to finish, teacher. Oy. <laughs> One minute, you can do the you can do the conversation in one minute. Silvia, are you here? Do you want to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Silvia, where okay. do you live? I live in Apopa. I from of the sports center. Uh, it's next to nice. To is next to um Iglesia Church Church Christian Christian Church Christian Church Christian Church Okay. okay. And where do you work, Sylvia? I work in Incinca. Where is this? Um, on the road, Troncal del Norte, 20 in Al Half, near to Plaza Mundo Pop. In we finished. Teacher. Thank you. Oh, you just see, was minute. You just did it in less than one minute. <laughs> okay, very good. Guys, I know it's Friday and the body knows it and we need to rest. I hope you have yeah. a nice weekend. You can enjoy it to the fullest. Don't forget to finish and complete all your exercises, the homework in the platform, in the forum discussion. And well, I don't know who would like to stay 10 minutes after class. We have a chance, maybe Hector Marroquín. ¿Con quiénes no ha tenido la sesión individual? Dímelo. Con Hector, ¿verdad? Hector, okay. sí, sí. Ah, Edwin Elías también, pero bueno, Edwin, no sé cómo está con su audio. Mal. <laughs> Bueno, tal vez el lunes o martes. Ok, Héctor, nos quedamos entonces en The Others. Claro. Bye. Y el foro de, de discusión. Sí. Tal vez va a dejar o no va a dejar tarea. Sí, siempre. Ok, thank you. Sí, el de ayer lo puso hoy en la mañana. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Two dreams. Dream in English. Chef. Good yeah, night, baby. David. Good night, Hilmore. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mr. Carrillo. Good night. Good night, Elias Ramirez. Happy weekend. Thank you, you two. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy with your family and friends.
see the model teacher. Good night, Herson. Oh, mañana oh. no hay. No, no, class. Este, no. The Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Rosy. Okay, Hector. Hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. How are you? Yeah. A mí me cuesta bastante. Try, try to speak English. Okay, how are you? Good. So, so Good. happy. Yeah, happy, happy. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy, sí. Uh -huh. También puede decir, I'm good or I'm fine. I'm mm. fine, estoy bien. I'm fine. Yo le pregunto, okay. how are you? ¿Cómo estás tú? Y usted me puede responder. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank, thank you. you. And you? And you? Fine too. Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> Con sueño. <laughs> okay, Hector. Um, where do you live, Hector? Where do you live? Um, ¿Dónde vive? Where do um, you live? Um, I live in. I live in La Libertad. Eh, in La Libertad. Sí. Ok. ¿Cómo se llama el municipio? ¿Cómo se llama el municipio? Mm. Eh, Departamento de la Libertad. Municipio sería... City. Eh, city, in Colón. City of, ah, in Colón. In Colón, in Colón. City. Ok. What places are near your house? What places are near your house? Hospital, restaurant, bank, supermarket, park, church. Ah, yeah, What uh, places are near your house? Sí, um, parks, uh, supermarket. Pero dígalo así, mire. There is a supermarket. There is a park. There is. Use, usando there is. there is and there are. Uh -huh. There is ah, para there. una cosa, there are para dos o más. Sí, entonces sería, uh, uh, there is on the park, uh, there are uh, supermarkets, porque son dos, ¿verdad? There are supermarkets. Supermarket. Sí, there are, there are two supermarkets. Uh, uh, there is a school. There is a? School. School. What's the name of the school? Um, Las Arboleras. Okay. ¿Cuál es el nombre de la escuela? Me quiere decir. Okay. ¿Cuál es el nombre de la escuela? Me quiere decir. No, the name, the name, el nombre de la escuela. Okay, uh -huh. Héctor. Eh, um, oh, I forgot the other question I was going to ask you. Hector, do you have children? Yeah, um, children, nine, um, nine um, years. It's boy or girl? Boy or girl. Ah, uh, sí, boy no, no, or girl. No, es niño o niña. Ah, 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 es, es varón. O sea, tengo una niña de nueve. No, eh, two, two. You have two, two boys, or one boy sí. and one girl. Lo que pasa es que eh, tengo una niña de nueve años y tengo un, un adolescente de quince. Ah, ok. So you can say, I have two children. Tengo dos hijos. I have two children. My daughter is nine. Su hija, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Nine years old. Tiene nueve. 
Sí, nueve años. Uh -huh. My son is 15 years old. Uh -huh. My girl is 15 years old. Nine years old and my son is 15 years old. Okay. My, my son's years old. Ok, Héctor. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta sobre los contenidos que hemos estado viendo? ¿O algo que tenga que decir? <ríe> no, pues que... O sea, los contenidos están completos. Lo que pasa es que a mí me cuesta bastante y he estado así como que medio tareado. No es su culpa, sino que es mi tiempo. ¿verdad? Que he estado así como que eh, muy sofocado y pues... Eh, lo que pienso hacer es ver las clases nuevamente, tal vez no todas, ¿verdad? pero sí la mayoría para quizás ponerme, eh, no al 100%, eh, poder entender ¿verdad? lo de las clases. Sí. sí, está bien, sí, cuando uno aprende un nuevo idioma es necesario dedicarle tiempo, sí, sí. ¿verdad? No es, en la clase pues no se puede todo, ¿verdad? Solo vemos como lo más esencial y pues ya lo demás uno tiene que investigar, practicar, leer, repasar, aprender, aprenderse a memorizar y es muy importante que haga las tareas. Casi no he visto posts suyos en el foro de discusión, ya sabe, ya sabe que hay que, hay que escribir allí. Sí, yo he hecho unas en el foro de discusión, pero no, ah. o sea, sí las he publicado. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, la número 15, ah, bueno, sí. todas estas. Ajá, todas ah. estas las he hecho. También hay unas que solo de complementar, vea. Uh -huh. Esas también las he hecho, pero sí, no sé tareas. si... Hay... ¿Ah? Sí, las tareas, the homework. Ajá. Ajá, entonces, pero no sé si en realidad se publicarán, porque como se me dice que no las ha visto. Bueno, es que, bueno, bueno, estuve viendo la de, la de hoy, la que puse ayer, la de que correspondía ayer hoy. Y sí, me, habían poquitos nada más que la habían puesto, que habían respondido. Sí, la de ayer no la había hecho todavía, Ticho. La de ayer uh -huh. no la había hecho todavía. Bueno, está uh -huh. bien. Ok, Héctor. Pero sí, he visto, ahora estuve pasando notas y veo que ha estado trabajando, ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, siempre, mira, a mí, me cuesta a mí me cuesta bastante, pero eh, créanme que le he hecho un poquito de ganas. Y la verdad, las cosas es que eh, yo soy estudiando todavía en la universidad, entonces ahorita como son las parciales finales, ha estado una semana pero horrible, tú tienes dos semanas pero horribles, audiencias, simulación de audiencias, y no me la pregunta, pero cuando yo estaba en su clase, estaba en otra audiencia también, o sea, y todo eso me, sí. pero lo que pasa es que no es el horario de la clase, es el horario de las audiencias que me las han movido, es Ay. gran problema, entonces es el por qué, ese es el por qué. Ahora entiendo, Héctor. Bueno, este, espero que, que, que pueda hacer su tiempo, organizarse, ¿verdad? Y, y, y que todo le salga mejor, que pueda salir bien a sus parciales, que ya pueda estar un poquito más desahogadito para la, dedicarle más tiempo al idioma y pues echarle ganas, ¿verdad? Sí, mire, <ríe> Cualquier una, cosa, una, pues ahí estamos. Una consulta, eh, bueno, usted se fija que yo a veces le he mandado mensajes por WhatsApp, <ríe> perdón por ser tan, tan mol, molesto en el caso, pero eh, verdad que hasta hoy teníamos para, para que me inscribieran en la empresa, ¿verdad? Sí, para que enviaran los documentos, ¿sabes si Recursos Humanos envió sus documentos? Fíjese, eh, no, le, no les he preguntado, yo les mandé eso el lunes. Entonces, o sea, y como han dado por arriba y por abajo, pues también se me, ha, se me ha ido. No sé si los habrán mandado a ellos. Bueno, y... es que... dígame, dígame. No, 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 sí, bueno, asegúrese, mañana quizás no trabajan, ¿verdad? No, mañana no trabajan. Ah, bueno, el lunes. 
¿verdad? Si acaso todavía no, pues que el lunes al menos todavía uh -huh. hay una oportunidad. Uh -huh. Vaya, eh, sí, eso sería todo. Y este, yo veo en la cuestión del progreso eh, de la plataforma, ¿Ah? eh, en el total me aparece como 58%, pero me imagino que eso porque falta el último examen, ¿verdad? Y las últimas actividades, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm, ajá, porque he visto todas la, he visto las gráficas de las semanas. O sea, no voy así como que tan mal, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. no sé si algo no estoy haciendo, no sé. Y igual, este, cuando... Eh, igual, por ejemplo, si usted hizo el ejercicio y le salieron malas, como tres, puede volverlo a hacer. Si lo vuelve a hacer, mm. puede obtener el 100%. Uh -huh. mm. Ajá, Bien, no es sabes. que la primera, no, pero sí... Ajá. Puede, si usted dice, ay, saqué 80, ¿verdad? o saqué 70, lo puede volver a hacer hasta sacar 100. Mm, ok. okay. Uh -huh. La plataforma tiene ese, esa opción. <risa> hola, hola, si fuera todo. <risa> sí. sí. Uh -huh. right. Ok, Héctor, descanse. Good night. See you Monday. Good night, teacher. See you, Bye. Bye-bye.